was just one thing to say Hi sweetheart, hi, how are you? Um, thank you for clicking on this video. How are you doing? How is your day going? I hope your day is going great. So as for me, you will not believe where I am doing this voiceover from. I am actually hiding in my closet right now to film this video because the noise is too much. So yeah, how is your day going? I hope your day is going great. So for today's video, I'll be showing you an easy way to do stitch braids. Now, this is for people who don't know how to do it like the, the regular way. This is a method that I am going to be showing you. So first things first, I already did almost all of her hair and this is like the last section. So i section the hair i use my edge control um gel of course so i'm going in with thread you can use any thread of your choice and i just double that into two to so make sure it it doesn't snack and um, break yeah guys so as you can see i am just going to wrap that um two to three times to make sure it is secure now you don't want to make it too tight because you are going to braid the hair later so i'm just going to cut that and move on to the next and yeah this method is just going to give you the same effect as if you were doing um the, your stitch braids the normal way like i said um this is for people who people like myself who find the other method very difficult um yeah guys you can totally try this method i preferred um using thread because it is um gentle on the uh, hair and this um it does not cause a lot of tension because if you use rubber bands you can as well use rubber bands too but i feel like using thread will um it's better because it is not going to cause a lot of tension on your hair now the idea is just to like make sure it is um, neat and secure so that when you braid those lines those stitch is um those stitches are going to show so that's basically the idea of this whole thing so like i said you want to make sure the hair is not very tight you just like make it as um a uh, weak as possible not so weak that um the thread comes off but secure enough without um causing any pain so yeah guys this is the method we i saw somewhere I saw somewhere um around yeah guys i don't think i have seen any tutorial for this style online yet but yeah if you have let me know in the comment section and yeah guys what do you think about this style do you feel it is um time consuming or it saves time because when you do like this and you go in with your braid you just start braiding at once um no time i have actually done the other method um, of doing stitch braids before but without any extensions but it took quite a while you know so when you are charging a client for sales um like this you might want to also take that into consideration it uh stitch braids uh, take a longer time to get done as compared to the regular feeding braids so yeah guys what do you think do you think this method is faster or you prefer the other method i don't know it's just it's all about preference you know because somebody might somebody who is um 
used to the other method might see this as time consuming but i don't see that at all because this is like the hardest part sometimes you can spend like 10 minutes on a single braid but with this method you you make you can spend like seven minutes instead and you can save like three minutes because you just go right ahead and you pat the hair and you wrap you pat the hair and you wrap as easy as that it does not take much time it looks like it but in this video i was filming and you know how it gets when you you film a tutorial and yeah you when you're filming a video it takes a lot of time so yeah guys let me know what you think let me know what you think so i'm not going to show you how i do the braids because i don't want the video to be long so this is it guys if you would like to see the part two of this video do let me know so don't forget to like share and subscribe bye